In the previous video, I filmed a little bit the way up on Trollstigen in Norway, but the visibility was really terrible, so I just spent the night at the top, and the next morning at least, I could enjoy the stunning view. a.m. Of course it's raining, so well it's raining all day, but I had a nice view of the Trollstigen, so the road of the Troll. This is pretty nice. It's just super cold now, it's still like, inside the van is like 13 degree, 14 degree. Every time I go out to walk my dog, just completely wet, so everything is wet in winter. But well, it's much better to be in the cold in my car traveling than at work somewhere. Yes, everything's fine. So I walk the dog, enjoy under the rain a little bit the area, and early morning, before the crowd, I drove to the ferry to go to Gerangar. Taking the ferry was super easy actually. I didn't book any ticket, I just arrived there, paid about 8 euro if I remember the ticket for about 20 minute boat, which surprisingly is quite cheap on the way. I didn't expect that actually. Then once arrived, if I remember, there was like one hour drive to Gerangar from the ferry, but it can take much longer due to the bus of tourists, campers and cars stopping everywhere to take pictures, even on the other side of the road. But yes, here also the view is just crazy. Geranga is a small town with 250 inhabitants and almost 1 million tourists every summer. So you understand why it's crowded? The town is pretty, but it's more for the view and activities that people come here. There are so many different outdoors activities, especially if you don't count your money. But I do, and there's too many people for me, so I already feel the need to leave to be alone. of the travel, my next destination is pretty much unknown. I don't really know where to go, I'm stuck in the rain, the cold, it's up to 5 degrees in some area, so finally I just decided to go in the direction of Sweden, so I go straight east. I went through beautiful landscape, and between two showers of rain, I could even walk and use the drone.
Then I stopped on my way to Lom and it's super popular bakery, so I had to try it. Lom is a pretty town of 2000 people living yearly, but Lom is super popular for its church, built out of wood in the 12th century. But that day, unfortunately, I couldn't go inside, so I just roam around and went to the bakery to eat as much as I could. Well, this pan chocolate looks good, crunchy, just maybe a little bit small and quite light. This is 55 Norwegian cup, Norwegian, which means almost 5 euro. 5 euro for this. Well, it's good. It's good, but well, I've seen better than this. But still, it's good, nothing special to say, except the price. So, this one is quite big. I'll pay this one. 43 so cheaper than the pain au chocolat cheaper than the pain au chocolat it's bigger and it's much heavier there's some pistach pistachios so this one is brioche with pistachios and cardamom well it's very tasty and some ice sugar on top in my opinion it's much better than the pain au chocolat and much worth it because it's cheaper and it's bigger that's very good I'm probably going to make everything. Okay, so yes, I went to this bakery in Lom. So I bought this pain au chocolat. I also bought this kind of brioche with pistachio, which is thirsty. And this bread, the bacon full corn bread. Quite big, it's quite nice. I wanted to try this bakery because it's a very popular bakery in Lom. At the opening, there was a queue already, even outside. So it was very long. Tourists, they go there. It's very popular. There's two floors. It's very pretty inside. And this place, looks more like an um, artisan industrial bakery because there's baker inside, they do everything by hand you can see the people working at the end it's still kind of industrial because the every products are made out of yeast I'm gonna cut it on my legs and if I cut my legs, well, it will be good for YouTube for the size of this bread, it's very light just like this, you can say it's, it's yeast and not sourdough there's lots of seeds inside, you can see. But the smell of this bread, well, it just smells like white bread with seeds. So to me, I need bread now because I don't have any bread, but it's just bread. I don't really enjoy eating this bread because it's just like white bread and seeds. Nothing special, really. You can buy the same everywhere. That's quite unfortunate. Fortunate, but in the same time, in a place like this, that's what they have to do because there are so many people and that's what people want. I'm gonna eat this bread, I'm gonna try it. I'm not disappointed because I didn't expect much from a yeast bread. It's good, it's good, it's just a yeast bread. So I don't really have much to say about this. The place is super nice, very pretty, just near to the waterfall. Well, everything is expensive, but we're in Norway again. The sweets I bought, like the brioche with pistachios and everything was good. This bread is good, but if you're looking for real bread, you're gonna be disappointed. If you're just looking for bread, it'll be fine. So yes, that's what I can say. Nice bakery, nice products, just the area make it like super nice. So most people like it, that's the most important. So see you on the next one. I'm now almost in Sweden and if I can say, I'm happy to go back. No way is blowing your mind, it's super beautiful. But I prefer the peace of Sweden. Getting lost with nothing around except nature. So before arriving there, I had a few stops. And at some point, I arrived in this town, I don't even know the name, where there was TVs, camera, reindeer on a leash, many people, like a summer party. And like I said, I still don't know the name of the town or even the event. But I quickly visited the streets, the church, and went back on the road. 
So here we are, the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I like to see my own memories. And thank you for watching till the end and see you on the next video. Bye bye.